Hi, this is Phil Hartman with PH Fabrication and Horton Race Cars. Just wanted to give you guys a weekly shop update. Hope everyone's doing well. So it's been a little hit and miss on my weekly shop updates. We've been just uh, so busy at the shop that I end up losing track of time and things uh, get away from me. So I do apologize for that, but uh, I am truly uh, thankful for all of our great customers and uh, blessed that we do have so much work going on and, uh, and I am thankful for all of that. So as you can see, we've got a, quite a few projects going on in the shop here. Got a 2010 Camaro, getting a uh, full cage put in it, along with a parachute uh, mount, rear seat delete, and uh, two uh, Kirky racing seats are also going in. Cage is coming together pretty nicely. Like I said, uh, we gotta go through the dash. We'll have uh, got our main hoop in. It's a full chromoly cage. Um, the rear bars are in, part of the rear seat deletes in, so definitely uh, coming along nicely. Um, this car is a little bit of a challenge uh, just because it's a full interior car, so the biggest thing is making sure you don't burn the interior when you're welding. Um, also getting uh, the hole through the dash to uh, get the bar ran through is uh, always challenging, but uh, really thankful to have the car in the shop. It's a really clean looking car. I said we got a little uh, clean up on it when we get it finished up. We always clean the cars before they leave for the customer. On the funny car here, this is a uh, going to be a nostalgia cackle funny car. Um, the, this car will never be raced because it still has the original 1960s chassis under it. Um, like I said, we got the body sitting in here. Jay has been busy getting some of the tin work uh, freshened up. Some of the tin work is okay from the 1960s um but uh or actually 1960s 1970s but some of it uh does have a little wear and tear just from uh racing it so uh jade got the firewall uh, roughed into shape and then we got the rear panels which are kind of neat we have to um you want to end up cutting the weld right here these panels were formed into multiple pieces so a little bit uh different way of doing things back then but uh Shouldn't be a problem to uh, get everything repaired. Over here on the uh, top dragster, this came in just to get some updates. Um, basically updates, go over the chassis, make sure everything will cert, um, change a few tabs, and add a few things for the customer. Um, we're gonna end up uh, new chute packs, um, and just like I said, some miscellaneous tabs and uh, items that the customer wants uh, done. So just a small punch list on this. Um, hopefully in the next two weeks we'll get this uh, car knocked out and back to the customer. Now over here we've got uh, Kyle Harris and his top dragster altered. Now this is a pretty cool car. Um, we built this thing from, uh, well this is the original Horton race car chassis and then uh, Kyle has done a lot of work to it but we, we mounted the body, got everything uh, situated for him before it left and now it's uh he's had it for probably i bet three four maybe even five years and racing it hard and so it's back in here um they actually were down in uh, bradington racing and they're going to race in at galat for the pdra race so instead of taking it all the way back up to canada he left it here it allows us to do some updates to the car um i know we have a new front nose to put on it some tin work to repair or, or to make new. So looking forward to getting started on this on Monday and uh, hopefully get this knocked out and uh, back to them before the uh, Galat race. Over here on the uh, Ford Lightning, definitely uh, making some progress on it. We've got a lot to do yet, but uh, it's coming along nicely. We had to we set the templates up in here for the uh, carbon work that goes inside the interior, but the funny car cage is in and uh like i said we got this truck a little bit lower on lower to the ground we realized when we had it up on our uh, saw horses that uh it was getting heavy fast so uh two of us can lift this thing up on the on the back half and lower it down now so at least it's on jack stands and a little bit more uh a little bit easier to get it uh on the ground um, hopefully I have it on the ground in the next few weeks that is it for the weekly shop update do you want to give a shout out to Bailey Industrial, uh, Cleveland Punch and Die, Edwards Iron Workers, Fronius Welders, Stronghand Tools, uh, TMS Titanium, 
uh, racing junk, classifieds, and uh, just really appreciate all uh, all your guys' continued support. Also, do want to give a shout out to Hypertherm Plasma Cutters. You guys uh, really do help us out tremendously when it comes to uh, making uh, high-end work and uh, making our jobs a lot easier. Well, hope you guys all have a great uh, week, and we will talk to you all next week. Bye.